Hi, welcome back. My name is Cliff Anderson. Today we're going to be learning about truth and falsity. Some claims are true, like 1 plus 1 equals 2. Other claims are false, like 1 is greater than 2. We're going to learn how to compute with true and false values. We're also going to learn to combine true and false values using so-called Boolean operators. Is it true that 1 plus 1 equals 2 and 1 is greater than 2? Stick around to find out. The goal today is to learn the basics of programming with true or false values using Boolean logic. We need to understand how to evaluate Boolean expressions in order to make more effective use of control blocks. I'm going to try to keep this video on the short side, as we'll be returning to this subject frequently during the series. Let's begin by pulling a true and false block onto the scripting area. See, actually I've got it more or less set up, but I'll bring over a false block. There we go. And, okay, so I can switch this back and forth to make it true or false. Those are the two options. And the one is just the inverse of the other. If you flip the switch, you can make true into false and false into true. Now, if you click on one of these blocks, you'll notice that you get a little pop-up window that lasts for a moment here until you move your mouse. And so it pops up and says false. If I click it to true, it pops up and it says true. What's the meaning of that pop-up? Boolean blocks constitute a special type of what is called a reporter block in Nets blocks. If command blocks change the state of the world, reporter blocks, like the name suggests, report the state of the world. A reporter block provides a peek into your program. The block tells you something about the program when you click on it. Or, to put it more technically, it reports a value. If we click on a true-false block, it reports its current state as either true or false. Very importantly, it doesn't change its value. If you want to change the value of a Boolean, you need to use a command block. A reporter block just tells you what its current value is. So, let's get back to Boolean values. The basic building block of Boolean logic is true or false. But what makes Boolean logic interesting is your ability to combine true or false blocks using various operators to create complex expressions. Let's begin with the simplest Boolean operator, the NOT block. As you see, if you place a NOT TRUE, what do you think it's going to be if I click on it? FALSE. And of course, if we say NOT FALSE, then when we click on it, what do you expect? TRUE. So NOT TRUE reports FALSE, and NOT FALSE reports TRUE. How about more complex Boolean expressions? This brings us to blocks like OR and AND. Whereas the NOT block is a unary operator, that is, it takes a single input, OR or AND are binary operators. They take two inputs and report a single true or false value. To understand how they work, it's helpful to look at what logicians call a truth table. Truth tables represent all possible combinations of input and output values for Boolean operators. So, let's consider the AND operator. AND reports true when both input values labeled in our chart A and B are true. If either of the inputs are false, then the AND operator reports false. It also does when both are false. The OR operator does more or less the opposite. As long as one of the inputs, or both of the inputs, is true, then the OR operator reports true. Only if both inputs are false does the operator report false. So, for example, with the AND operator, I've got TRUE and TRUE. So if I click on this, as we expect, it's going to say TRUE. But if it's TRUE and FALSE, it will say FALSE. And of course, FALSE and FALSE is FALSE. Put that up here and let's take a look at the OR. So here we've got an OR. TRUE or FALSE is going to report TRUE. TRUE, true and TRUE is also true. False or true is true, but false or false is going to be false. Okay, so as I said, there are more complex operators that you can use, 
and you can build them out of these simple operators that I've shown. For example, I've created a NAND or a NOT AND block. This block reports true if one input is true or both inputs are false, and false if both inputs are true. Okay, so if that didn't make you confused enough, let's just take a look. So true, NOT AND, true. If I click on that, that's false. False, NOT AND, true is true. And again, the other way. True, not and, false. NAND, false. True. And if they're both true, then it's false. There's also an XOR, or exclusive OR block. An XOR reports true if one input is true and the other is false, but reports false if both inputs are true or both inputs are false. So let's take a look at that one here. So here's the XOR. Okay. So here's true or false. What do you think it's going to report? True. And same thing with false or true, XOR true, true. But if they're both true, unlike the normal OR, it will report false. And of course, if they're both false, it will also report false. There are other blocks here like the NOR, and you can make more. If you'd like me to explore how I made these additional blocks and nets blocks, let me know in the comments below, and I'd be happy to sort of walk you through creating new Boolean logic blocks in nets blocks. So let's end this video by answering the question we posed at the beginning. There are a couple other Boolean operators that can help us in nets blocks to decide if 1 plus 1 equals 2 and 1 is greater than 2. Okay, so let's go over to the side here, and you can see that I've got three. And I should have said this at the beginning, but those pointy edges always indicate that it's a Boolean. So when you see this here, you know that it's a reporter that reports a Boolean. Okay, so we've got the greater than, uh, that's the lesser than, the greater than, and the equals. Okay, let's try this here. So I can take to represent our first question. 1 plus 1, I'll take that operator here and just put it in on one side. And then I'm going to take the number 2 and put it on the other side. Okay, and now does 1 plus 1 equal 2? That is true. So we've got one part of our question here. Is 1 greater than 2? That's false. Now to relate them together, we just need to use the AND. So now we can snap these two parts together. And we can ask the question that we asked at the beginning. Is 1 plus 1 equals 2 and 1 is greater than 2 true or false? And the answer is, as you would know if you read the truth table, it's going to be false. So we've combined the two comparison operations using an AND operator. And what we saw is what we expected to happen. We know that one side evaluates to true and the other side evaluates to false. Remembering our truth table, we know that if one side of an AND operator is false and the other side is true, then the AND operator will respond or evaluate to a false. So we've covered the basics of Boolean operators and we're ready to start making more complex decisions in our code. Next time, we're going to combine Boolean operators with control blocks to create branching logic. We'll tackle a notorious problem in computer science the so-called fizzbuzz problem. That's enough for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.